Hello, hola, and namaste. From around the world, to your class. This is Vajay Alexander, and we are here to understand managerial accounting. In this video, we are going to cover the basic aspects of managerial accounting. Managerial accounting is a process of taking all the financial data given to you by an accountant or bookkeeper, analyzing it, and putting it into simple form so that the management can comprehend the information and make business decisions to maximize profit and minimize loss. Managed accounting is for internal users, for example, owners, managers, officers. The goal of the reports are for a specific decision-making purpose. For example, if you want to buy new equipment, you have to do the feasibility study. Or if you are starting a new business, you need to figure out if you can survive for 12 months. The content of the report is very detailed. It extends beyond the double entry system of accounting to any relevant data. So, what is the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting? Financial accounting is a systematic process of recording, classifying, summarizing, and reporting day to day business transactions. In other words, it is the process of collecting the actual financial data from day-to-day -day activities of the entity and recording it. This information is mainly prepared for external parties, which include but not limited to investors, creditors, regulators like the Security Exchange Commission and tax authorities. Managed accounting, on the other hand, is taking information data given by the Financial Accounting Department, analyzing it to make informed decisions to minimize risk or pitfall. For example, using the data to create a budget to monitor the performance of the organization on a regular basis and to make necessary corrections as they identify the variance, which is actual versus budget. A company may want a sales budget to forecast a total sales income expected during the current period. If the company offers multiple products, it may be helpful to separate each type into different roles. After you list the number of items you expect to sell, times it by the price of the item, you can calculate how much sales revenue the company may be expected to make during the economic period. For example, Bell Computers is in the business of selling computers. If the selling price of a computer is $1,000 and they expect to sell 1,000 computers for the period, then the total sales revenue for the period will be $1 million. A cash budget is where cash receipts are listed from their projected sources and the expenses are predicted for the future. Cash budget is used to ascertain if a company's operations will provide sufficient funds to meet the cash requirements for the future. It will also warn the management when they will require to acquire additional funds. For example, if Bell Computers wants to ascertain if they will have enough funds to survive for an accounting period, they will have to start with a beginning balance, that is a current balance in their bank account. Next, they will list all the expected revenues for the period, followed by the expected expenses for the same period. By the end of the period, the management will be able to predict if they will have excess funds or if they are in deficit and will need to acquire additional funds. While budgeting is just one aspect of managerial accounting, there are several aspects of managerial accounting. Some of them are product costing and valuation, cash flow analysis, trend analysis, and forecasting, etc. Therefore, the basic concept of managerial accounting is to take the raw information from an accountant and analyzing it, not necessarily to maximize profit, but also to make other decisions like budgeting, product costing, cash flow analysis, etc. That is for another day. Until then, goodbye, adios, and ciao.